Hello friends! I really wanted to write out a script for this video and plan it all out and make it really eloquent and smart, but of course it's October so I didn't do any of that. I have like a really brief list of notes to cover and I'm just gonna wing it. Couple things to address first. Uh, this is my stab at a Halloween-ish coordinate. I realize that it's just purple and orange makeup with a black and white dress, but you know... You work with what you got. Wow, she's resourceful. Wow, so innovative. Yes, I am aware that dark lipstick makes my teeth look yellower. It's a fact, fact of life. Everybody knows it. Don't need to see it in the comments. And uh, my voice does sound raspy and rough. It's because I work a job during Halloween, during October, where I am just yelling and fake crying for many hours and my voice takes a beating. I don't want to start off sounding negative, but I just want to address those things because I know that I'm gonna hear them. Even after saying them, I feel like I'm still gonna see comments about my voice, teeth, whatever. I wanted to take some time to talk about Lolita and Halloween because I feel like I've never really talked about it on my channel. And over the years, my thoughts about it have changed a lot and I've seen new perspectives on it and I've also talked to people who wear other fashions that are alternative and like their thoughts on Halloween in their own fashion, so I just wanted to collect a bunch of information as much as I can. So this video isn't one way or the other, it's just looking at a bunch of different things. Of course, anything that I do on this channel doesn't reflect all Lolitas at all. It's just my own thoughts as Lolita and like my own experiences and things that I've seen or learned from other Lolitas. I try as much as I can to reach out to get more information from different people as best I can, but obviously my audience doesn't reflect like all Lolitas and I know that my audience is also comprised of people who aren't Lolitas themselves. This isn't like fact or 100% anything. It's just a collection of thoughts. I made a post on Facebook asking about opinions on Halloween and Lolita and then I also made some polls on Instagram and I thought to myself that there would be a wide range or that there would be arguments and people that felt strongly one way or the other but I found that everybody's response was kind of like meh when it came to Halloween and Lolita. Like, I asked several different things regarding it and everybody just kind of seemed like, we don't care. Which is cool, which is great. But I also have to consider that Facebook is a very public platform, so any comments left would be like attached with a name. And I think that people were kind of a little softer, nicer, or maybe people didn't speak up that have stronger opinions because they knew that like, they might be attacked or that their name would be seen with it. And then I thought Instagram might be more anonymous, but I got a lot of messages from people who had participated in the polls and said like, oh no, I accidentally clicked this, like, please don't judge me. Like, I think that people are realizing more and more that when you do polls on Instagram, you can look through and see what everybody voted for, but I never do that because I get a lot of people that participate between like two and five thousand so I'm not gonna go through and like look at what everybody chose. I think that people voted with that in mind that like they might be seen. A few years ago, I probably five years ago, a friend of mine wore Sweet Lolita on Halloween to hand out candy and I remember seeing it on Facebook and being so offended, horrified at the idea of wearing Sweet Lolita on Halloween. And I don't know what, like, I kind of stepped back and was like, why is this making me so angry? In my mind, I was just thinking like, this is perpetuating the idea that Lolita is a costume. This is like showing people that what this is, is a costume, which is partially true. But then there's also different ways to think about it. What really made me change my opinion and think about this more broadly is talking to drag queens because I've spoken to many drag queens who wore drag for the first time on Halloween, which is kind of interesting. It's the same sort of concept of people being like, oh, this is a costume, blah, 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 when it's not a costume. But Halloween is a great time to try out new fashions and get your toes wet and step into it with far less judgment. Because yes, you're probably gonna be seen as wearing a costume by people who don't understand, but for your own confidence building, it is a day when people are expected to dress up and look different. And if you wanna do that and not feel so alone or not feel so out there, 
I think that it is like a great opportunity to step out there and try it. I think that it's important to mention that it's a fashion or to explain what you're wearing, but I also think that on Halloween it's just not necessarily the time and place to like really do this education because people probably aren't gonna listen to you or like aren't gonna ask you and are just gonna assume. But for your own personal benefit and like confidence, I think that it definitely is like a great time to try it and feel comfortable. Also, I know that there are people that wear Lolita every day and then there's people that only wear it on certain occasions. And I do see how Halloween is a time when, oh, like I don't get to wear this every day. I don't get to wear this very often. I'm gonna take this opportunity when people are dressed up to wear it. And thinking about it that way greatly changed my perspective on it. There's a huge difference between trying out a fashion and wearing it than going out and buying a Lolita costume. There are companies that make Lolita costumes. They're really cheap and tacky. I haven't been to any Halloween stores this season. I haven't had time, but it does suck because a lot of brands are ripped off, a lot of artists are ripped off, a lot of like wig companies have been have had their designs stolen by these massively produced cheap Halloween costumes and sold and like misrepresented the fashion. And I've tried to rack my brain around a positive thing that could come from that. What I really want to know is if anybody has ever seen a Lolita costume in a store and had that be their first exposure to Lolita. Anytime there's a chance for somebody to learn about Lolita and to see it, I think is great. But I also wonder who those costumes are for? I haven't heard anybody say that like they've learned about Lolita from Halloween store costumes. I have heard people say that, and I did a poll on it, whether people have bought Lolita costume pieces because they were really new to the fashion, they didn't know where to buy it. I feel like that was more relevant maybe 10 years ago. There's just so many resources for you to find Lolita now and like I don't know why anyone would go to a costume store necessarily to buy it. I don't know that people who don't know about Lolita would be interested in Lolita costumes or Lolita-ish costumes. I still feel in my heart of hearts that it's bad and that it sucks to have Lolita produced in such a way. And I mean, there's a lot of problems with the costume industry, the like cheap costume industry. Please comment below if you discovered Lolita from seeing it as a costume. Then there are of course Halloween inspired coordinates. A lot of brands will capitalize on the holiday and release lines that are inspired by Halloween themes and motifs and I can't think of anything negative to say about this. Like, I absolutely love Halloween inspired prints. I really really want some. I haven't gotten any because it just hasn't been within my budget and also I don't like to invest in seasonal prints or holiday related prints because there's far less wear for them. I do think that if you have like a creepy cute or like a more goth style that you could wear those pieces like throughout the year, like why not? I really really would like to and I have a hard time choosing which ones that I want. I think that it's great to have a Halloween themed print or coordinate for like a meetup and for parties throughout the season. There was a coordinate challenge going around similar to Inktober that had prompts for coordinates and I think that's so smart and so cool to just push yourself to really mix things around differently and think about pieces differently. Character coordinates are kind of tough because I've seen them done really poorly and I've seen them done uh, phenomenally and amazing. What I mean by a character coordinate is kind of like a cosplay, but using Lolita or character inspired kind of like Disney bounding, but with Lolita of a certain character theme. I think that if you want to do it, just do it. Even if the result, you don't end up liking it, you still tried and maybe you can learn something else from it. My thoughts, opinions, and advice. I think I've been kind of sprinkling that throughout this video, but I think if you want to wear Lolita for Halloween, go for it. Absolutely do it. There's tons of reasons for you to. I think that you need to expect people will assume you're wearing a costume, and maybe this should be the one night where you kind of let it slide and pick your battles of when to explain it, because if you say it to every person you encounter, you're gonna get really exhausted. For me personally, I would never wear Lolita on Halloween just because I like to find opportunities to wear Lolita 
whenever I can throughout the year. I would only wear Lolita on Halloween if I didn't have anything else and it's kind of like a lazy cop out. Plus I'm always working so I'm usually a clown on Halloween but I think that Halloween is like a fun time to experiment with something new and try out something different so for me Lolita wouldn't really be different but to somebody else it very well might be. Remember that Lolita is just a fashion and it's not like a character so when you put it on you're still yourself. Make it an accentuation of yourself. I think even if you're doing some sort of like cosplay Lolita inspired thing that you should still be yourself. I personally have bought Halloween Lolita stuff like Halloween costume Lolita when I was very early early into Lolita around 2007-2008 and I did do that because I didn't know where to get it. I think that now it's just better to get on the old Google, do some searches, look up people who wear Lolita, look at the tags of the pieces that they've worn, double click that picture, look at the tags, see where stuff is from. It's worth it to get pieces that you're gonna enjoy for a longer amount of time that will last. I probably left out like half the things I wanted to talk about. Oh well. People still have this idea that Lolitas are super judgmental and you have to abide by these really specific rules, but I've definitely seen in my years as Lolita, people just get more and more relaxed, more and more experimental, and I love that. I love seeing it grow. I love seeing it change. I think that you should appreciate the fashion, make it suit you, rather than try to make yourself suit the fashion. I don't know how many times I've said that. It feels like a million. <laughs> just have fun and help educate people, and happy Halloween. Today's video is sponsored by Obudoir de Alice. Oh, Obudoir Alice. Obudoir de Alice. I'm so appreciative that they continue to support my Lolita content and help me get more videos out to you. Obudoir de Alice is a Lolita based shop in Montreal where you can go and get Lolita pieces in person. Another option for you rather than going to Halloween stores and getting questionable quality Lolita stuff. They have an assortment of wonderful Lolita brands. They will have a website coming soon. Stay tuned for that by following their Facebook, which I'll have linked below. And as always, stay lovely.